Welcome to the campus of Walsh University. Tonight we are in the Global Learning Center uh, filming the inaugural episode of CAV Nation Conversation. Uh, our guests for the evening are starting from left to right. We have um, Michael Rextus. He rocks! <laughs> and the man himself, Dr. Tim Collins. Hi. So, guys, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for yeah, having us. Absolutely, thank you. absolutely. Dr. Collins, I want to start off with you tonight. Um, Push-ups have kind of been a trademark of yours the first couple months of the semester. I was wondering if you'd want to get down on the stage with me and do 10 push-ups to get this show rolling. Get it off on the right I foot. I think so, but I think we have to remember that the push-ups are here not because of me, but because <laughs> of our football team. That's it's, fair. It's, it was That's born fair. at a football team meeting, and it's lived on because of the football team itself. When, so. when was the first time you did... So the first time you did the push-ups was in a football team meeting? Yeah, campus. so the team came in on a Sunday, and okay. on Monday, Coach asked me if I wanted to just come and you know, meet the team and talk to him for a couple minutes. So um, that was a Tuesday night team meeting. So I showed up to the team meeting. Coach introduced me to everybody. So I came down to the front. We're in the auditorium at Bexler. And um, I said, I started to talk. I said, you know, I, I think we should probably start this off with some physical activity. So I said, I think we should do some push-ups. And nobody moved. <laughs> and so I took a couple steps backward, and I dropped into the front leaning left position. I looked up and said, look, I'm not kidding. Well, what I didn't know was Coach had all the seniors in the front row. Okay. So the seniors jump up, they come over, and they get down right next to me. And so now people are starting to move around. So the team captain to my right says, what's the plan, sir? <laughs> and I said, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and so he said, I got it. And really the only thing I was looking for was are we going to do these push-ups as a team or are we going to do these individually? And you know what? The team waited. So everybody got in position. So then he, no kidding, he took it, leadership, and said, okay, on my count. Next thing we know, we do 10 push-ups. So then we jump up and recover. So meanwhile, I look up, and they're on the backs of chairs. They're yeah. on the hallway. Of course, some of the, some of the players, they've got their head down and their feet yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And saying, okay, they're going to figure that that's not a good idea. <laughs> so we finished the 10. So then what happens is I finish my 10-minute you know, talk with them, whatever. I said, you know how I think we should wrap this up? And, of course, it's like a pregnant pause. I said, push-ups. So I back up and I drop down. So the same seniors, they jump up, they come and they get right beside me. Now the senior to my left goes, I got this one. Now I look up, everybody's bailing out of their seats. They're on it. But those guys that heads down, feet up, they've now switched themselves. So I'm looking at a lot of tail ends as I'm looking up the hill. So he calls off the 10 push-ups. So we start doing push-ups. Wow. So two days later, I'm crossing the academic quad in my suit. And one of the players comes by and says, hey, Mr. Prez, you want to do some push-ups in your suit? <laughs> so bang, I dropped down to do push-ups. So wow. he does too. And somebody caught that picture on yeah, film. Yeah, the one that was on Instagram. Yeah, so the yeah. fact of the matter was the team was challenging me. OK. And so the rest is history. Okay. So that's wow. how that started. We didn't know that. So it's all about the football team. Give a round of applause yeah. to, the, to the football <laughs> to team the football for starting team. that. Yeah. Well, because now it's everywhere. Now people are talking all about how Oh, the, the, the president is doing push-ups with everyone. He's, he's doing push-ups with, with the freshmen in, in, in the dorm rooms when they were moving in. Um, so Yeah. But Fitness is readiness, part of leadership. you got to be physically fit. So yes. I'm good with that. Yeah. Well, like I said, to get the uh, inaugural episode kicked off the right way, be my pleasure if you it. join me yeah. in doing ten. I'm going to join for Mike, sure. Mike, you going to join? Do we have enough room down there for all three of us? I, I hope so. <laughs> Here, I'll make room. Oh, there we go. All right. Sounds good. Oh, no. All right. Uh, ready? Yeah. Mike, you want to call him? Yeah, it's going to yeah. call him. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, down. One. One. Down. Two. Two. Down. Three. Three. Down. Four. Four. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. Ten. Nice. <laughs> here nice. we go. Nice. <laughs> Thank That's you. Awesome. Nicely done. That's awesome. Ain't nothing to it. No. No, Ain't unless you can't do push-ups in that. Well, right. That's an issue. <laughs> <laughs> which we're finding now because, you know, they were, you know, challenging me for push-ups, which I'm good on it. But what was happening is I was having a lot of spectators. And oh, okay. they were killing me because they were tagging me. <laughs> one, one, mm. one. So I've sort of changed my approach. 
look, if we're building leaders in service to others, part of this is we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. So I'm quite happy to do push-ups, but anybody that's standing around, we're all doing push-ups. Ah, some of the students aren't so crazy <laughs> about that. So they've quit tagging me. Right. And they, you know, in some cases, this all the students. Of course, you get around, you know, the special teams guys. They don't mind that. Let's do it. Bam. Right, right. Uh, but you get around a bunch of others that maybe they don't want to or whatever. So it, the pace has slowed down a little bit. Right. But now it's about all of us mm -hmm. doing them, not just some of us doing right. them. Right, right. And I like what you brought up about Walsh uh, creating leaders and uh, service, service to others. others. Um, because I think that's such a crucial part of our university. And we have, you know, both of you here tonight who are leaders on campus. You is obviously our president and Michael, who is uh, one of our RAs. Right. Um, so, you know, a question I have for you too, Jim, just as kind of newly stepping into those roles, you know, what, what, are, what are some of the impacts that that leadership role has had on you um, in the first two, two and a half months of the school year up to this point? You know, what takeaways do you have from stepping into that? Yeah, I mean, um, as you know, John, I used to, I played football here last year. Um, so kind of transitioning out from an athletic standpoint and mindset on leading to a more just peer-led academic standpoint, it's been, it's been unique. It's been different. I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, becoming an RA has is, is, um, been great because I've got to meet a ton of new people. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's something that I didn't know that I would enjoy this much, you know, until I really got into it. Um, but on campus, um, just being RA, we, we talk about like being in like a fishbowl um, is right. what we talk about the RA. So you always have people kind of looking in at you. So um, I definitely feel that a little bit more. You know, people know you as an RA around campus and um, you kind of take on that role and embrace it in whatever way that you can. But um, it's been exciting. It's been fun to learn and adapt and grow. And, and I've noticed, you know, how much I've started to grow from the last two months. Um, so I'm excited to kind of, you know, continue through the year and then look right. back and really see, you know, my growth and, and a perspective, hopefully see, you know, where I've come from, so. Right. How much do you think um, your background in athletics has helped you in your leadership role as an RA mm -hmm. um, within the dorm rooms? I think a lot. I mean, I, I, I have a role, I have a, um, my floor consists of mostly um, football players, um, so. I got to know a lot of them last year, um, and having just the athletic background has um, instilled that discipline mindset in me. Um, I'm a guy with systems in place, you know, and I test those systems, and if they succeed, <laughs> I continue with it, and if they fail, I try something new. So it's one of those things where, you know, I learned that through my athletic career, and, um, you know, it's fun to implement that into other parts of my life. You know, when I detach myself from that and really get into just, you know, trying to be a student, it's hard, I'm not going to lie, because, right. you know, you play something your entire life, and then you step <clears> away from it, it's like, it's like, it's like, well, it's, it's kind of like deja vu, I like to say, when I look back on it, you know, it's a big blur, it's like, it was there, but, you know, it'll always be a part of me, but, um, it's been really interesting to see the transition, and, like, like I said, sports have helped me in tremendous ways, and, and I could never, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's amazing, yeah. Because you're fairly local, correct? You're from, yeah, in, yeah. You're from North Canton? Yep, from North Canton. Went to Glen Oak High School. Um, graduated the pride of Glen Oak. Yeah, pride of Glen Oak. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Our football team's not doing too hot right now for people who know out there. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it right. We'll get it right. Um, yeah. But, yeah, local guy. So, love the area. Wanted to come to Walsh because um, um, of the great opportunities here. Coach Fank gave me a wonderful opportunity to come play football and continue doing what I love, you know, I still love the sport. Um, and I'm also in the leaders program here. So, and what we do in that is we, you know, get to really learn about the community and really dive into some issues in the community and kind of scale them off like in a global um, perspective as well. Mm -hmm. So that's been really interesting because being a local guy, you think you know things around here, right. but until you get here and you start <clears throat> getting really involved is when you mm -hmm. discover all the wonderful things that Ken has to offer. and the wonderful people that are all here, so. Yeah. President Collins, I'm wondering, um, Mike said he talked, you know, the, what kind of drew him to Walsh. What, what drew you uh, to Walsh yeah, uh, initially? Yeah, you know, before we leave that, can yeah. we just talk about the RA Absolutely. thing for yes. a minute? So, 
you know, I had a chance to talk to Mike and his colleagues at the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. and you know, my own perspective on what the RAs are doing, you know, it's probably the singularly most difficult job we ask of our students to do. Absolutely. Um, because they find themselves in this place where they are trying to teach our students how to follow, follow the rules, follow the guidelines, follow the policies, mm -hmm. um, follow a way of living in community. Right. At the same time is they're having to lead their peers. Right. And leading your peers are always going to be the most difficult thing to do. And so athletics are such an important part of our experience here if it's intramurals or intercollegiate, because it's in athletics that we learn about leadership, teamwork, we learn about how dig you have to deep, we learn about commitment, we learn about sharing a common goal, we learn about how to deal with defeat without quitting. And so what the RAs have to do on a daily basis is engage in situations with their peers, other students, and try to help them get to a better place. Because my guess is, Mike, they're not knocking on your door to tell you how good you're doing. <laughs> they're probably <laughs> knocking on his door because they have a problem, they're right. mad about X, right. Y, or Z, and he's the guy that's supposed to fix that. Right. So it's a very natural transition, I think, to take some of those leadership skills that, at, there's <laughs> other places to learn leadership, but to take what you've learned as an athlete your whole life mm -hmm. and move forward. And while you stepped away from athletics, you know, at some point you're going to have to anyway. Mm -hmm. So everyone does, unless you can, you know, be as fortunate as a guy like Coach where he gets to be in it his whole life. But all of us still have to have the sense of athletics and of fitness and, and what that does. So you'll find other, other avenues to do that because it's just sort of how you're right. wired. But that's all part of continuous learning. You know, we're teaching here at the university about lifelong learning, and that's not just intellectual development. It's physical development, it's moral development, it's spiritual development, it's emotional development. It's always ongoing, always renewing yourself, revalidating yourself, which is what you learn on an athletics team. You take any team from where they start to where they finish, and there's been a huge transformation that's occurred regardless of what the scoreboard says, because it's part of the nature of what athletics brings to us in our own personal development. So, you know, I just uh, want to say to you and to all the RAs, you know, that might be listening, you know, thank you for what you're doing. You're taking a lot of risk on your shoulders on behalf of the university. Your fellow students are counting on you to do your best, and we appreciate you doing your best. So thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You're, I mean, you hit, the, you hit the nail right on the head with that. Um, I know I've, uh, I, a lot of my friends here on campus are RAs, and I know they are put in, you know, some very, very difficult, difficult trying right, situations. Um, and the way they handle that with extreme professionalism and, and poise is really, um, yeah. really And hey, we don't always see, do it so. right. Right. But, you know, that's, that's mm -hmm. what I mean by you can be defeated as long as you don't quit. You're not, you're not finished. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. All right. Okay, so well, there, <laughs> there was some other question you yeah. had in there, but... <laughs> It doesn't matter. I just, I just feel like I need to just like shut up and just let you just talk to the camera. For, <laughs> for, this is great stuff. Um, no, I was just we had um, Mike had shared a little bit about what drew him to the university. I was wondering what drew you uh, to Walsh. Well, at the end of the day, what draws me any place where I go are people. So I'm always drawn to people. I, I, I'm at Walsh. I think in large measure because I've felt a calling that I should be doing something with this third phase of my life, so I'm in my third career. Um, and so this career is about building leadership. It's all about people. My own personal definition of leadership is melting into a relationship with others. So it takes leadership to get other things done and so on and so forth, but it's all about the students. The students that are here, and those are the undergraduate students or the graduate students, these are going to be the future leaders of our nation. You can look in the private sector and the public sector, pick your company, pick your anything. I'll, I'll put a dollar to a donut down that says the people in, in the executive leadership positions have a college or university experience. So you're getting here the Catholic approach at Walsh University, you're getting education and formation. 
You're getting the skills and the tools you need, not just to think clearly, but to do it with a sense of doing what is right. And so I came to Walsh uh, because I felt a calling to be at a place where I can personally and directly influence that development of our nation's leadership. And so I felt like Walsh was a place that I could do that. Walsh was gracious enough to offer me the opportunity, and I'm just thrilled to be a part of the community. We um, <clears throat> run out of time here a little bit. So before we wrap this up, um, just wondering, you know, I'd like to hear from both of you real quick if you can. It's been a crazy semester. It's been an action-packed semester. I know there's been a lot, of, a lot going on, a whirlwind, but um, if you could pick one memory or one uh, thing that's happened this semester that uh, it, can be, it can be your, your favorite memory from this semester, uh, something that struck you, uh, what, would, what would something be? From the past two months, I'd have to say agape going on that oh, retreat. Yeah, the yeah. retreat, yeah, yeah. During the what is it about four weeks into school, mm -hmm. getting just kind of get away from everything and to reboot and and kind of get your get my um spiritual mindset on on um on on right and everything yeah. like that was just a great time for me. Yeah, the venue was really cool too. Oh, the, yeah. the campsite no, it was yeah, it was yeah. a ton. It was a ton of fun. <laughs> it was cool. President Collins, what about Yeah, for me, it's, it's that same memory every single day. I start every day in the middle of the academic quad, staring at the chapel, being thankful for the opportunity to be here. It's just a privilege to serve, and uh, every day it's what inspires me and motivates me and reminds me of what I'm supposed to do here, and that's to serve this community. So that's, that's the memory that's you know, seared into me, and helps keep me straight on what I need to be doing. Awesome. Well, I th again, thank you guys so much um, for, for coming on, for being on the inaugural episode of Cav Nation Conversation. Um, you know, ho hopefully we'll, we'll be able to keep this going, get some more guests on, get some more conversations going, important conversations that need to be had. Um, so I thank you guys for being here, and uh, we look forward to, to seeing you guys next time. All you guys watching, I thank you, um, and hopefully you'll tune in again to watch, uh, to watch this show and to be a part of it as well. Thank you.